Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I am your host Sri Ayer. Joining me today is Professor R. Vaidyanathan and we are going to talk about some amazing, crazy things going on in this one by-election in Tamil Nadu in Erode, uh, the city of Erode. I think it's Erode East or something like that. Professor Abhi will give all the details. But more importantly, more interestingly, some crazy things are happening. And this, this really is democracy is in peril here. So let's welcome Professor Arvi and he will tell us all about it. Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakkam. And it's always a delight to interact in uh, P Guru's channel of uh, Sri Ayer and uh, our uh, regular program organizer Sachin is not well, I think. So that is the reason why Ayer has uh, taken it upon himself to uh, coordinate this. Now, we will uh, spend some time on this uh, issue of this uh, Erode East by-election, which has attracted, uh, you know, more than adequate amount of attention for a bipole for a single constituency. Much earlier, some of you may recall, there used to be a poll in uh, a constituency, Thirumangalam, very nearer to Madurai, which was, uh, that time, of course, that constituency, DMK was... Uh, uh, organizing it through Aragiri, the elder son of M. Karunanathi. And a huge amount of cash was dispersed, allegedly. And uh, later it was also, to some extent, uh, uh, proved in terms of uh, public uh, accepting it as well as uh, the distribution mechanism being photographed and other. So that was called the Thirumangalam formula. That means you basically give certain amount of money to people and then uh, <laughs> Based on that, you collect the votes. Some people argue it's possible that people may collect money, but what is the guarantee that they vote for you? This is uh, one thing. Long time before, I should tell you, Lalu Prasad Yadav was involved in a no confidence motion. And uh, that time, he, he is alleged to have distributed uh, currency to the MLAs. And uh, very many were telling people may collect the money, but won't vote for him another. He was a very, in spite of being a not so great uh, uh, educated person, he was a very, very shrewd person. What he did was, he cut the notes into two half and one half only he gave it to the MLAs. The other half had the number and you know, all those uh, critical items. So this one half, what is given, will not be useful to you in terms of exchanging or anything. And after the voting was done, he he found out who voted for him and other thing and he gave the remaining half to them. So like that, this Thirumangalam, of course, it's not a easy thing. What they did was, I am told, they took the promise in the name of God. That is, even though the DMK is an atheist party, but the public are supposed to be believers. So they were asked to swear in a camphor before the God that they would only vote for those who gave the money, which is obviously the same thing. But this the current bipole is uh, making us all feel very ashamed actually as Indian citizens. And uh, I'm amazed that uh, election commissioner is uh, you know silent on this. It's an open secret now, anything more. Uh, you know, uh, people are being herded into like cattle in a particular place and then uh, they're practically locked in actually. And then uh, they are given uh, morning breakfast, um, afternoon lunch, and then 500 rupee cash. And one elderly lady openly comes forward and say, last six days I am here and I have been given 500 each day and other. Others pounce on her for uh, telling all these things. And uh, unfortunately, even the uh, television uh, cameraman as well as the uh, senior reporter were backed up for uh, getting into this, uh, what we may loosely call the uh, cage for uh, the place where the people are kept in uh, imprisoned, that type of thing. This is so going I on. heard I heard that they are being imprisoned because DNK doesn't want them to go listen to the other side's uh, slogan area, <laughs> election area. <laughs> that is also possible. Anyhow, it's a very extraordinarily painful thing because it has become more, of course, this is a bipole for one particular constituency. It has become a major prestige issue for the ruling DMK that they would like to show that uh, uh, they will win. In the sense, uh, 
they are supposed to have been uh, uh, fulfilled all their poll promises and other thing and based on that this uh, winning will uh, reinforce their importance in the political arena but the point is the level to which we have uh, you know gone down or the sense uh, people are given sari people are given various uh, type of this uh, incentives people are given cooker some people are claiming that uh, they have got uh, uh, you know microwave god knows you know type of things which are being distributed the very old days in the 50s i recall reading in the paper in the american election some of the blacks were uh, suspected to be voting for democrat so they will be told that uh, poll is not today it's only tomorrow and so they will uh, you know go back home they said they won't uh, go for uh, polling booth this was a very very minor type of a tactics in some clusters not all over us or something in small clusters adopted to make blacks uh, and then next day obviously blacks will realize that uh, the polling is over <laughs> it's a, you know yesterday itself there was a poll and we did participate in that and uh, some places i was also told in those days they were given 5 dollar and uh, 1950s i am talking about 50s and 60s 5 dollar 10 dollar is a very big amount actually and they were given to go and have good lunch and sleep so this type of you know minor type of issues in uh, uh, various uh, uh, countries are there even in india i remember when i was in school the uh, the polling uh, people used to come home with car in order to take old uh, people elderly people those who are not in a good position to move on other thing even you know my father was a disabled man army man he had only one leg but he rejected it he told this is not appropriate the rumor or a joke used to be they were taken to the polling booth and then that's all there was no return vehicle or something up to the polling booth only your value or your uh, anyhow those days itself these type of small small incentives were frowned upon by many people that uh, i should not be appear to be uh, no and some people also refused to take the slip given by a party people you know the ec election commission used to distribute the slip that alone they will take because the slip given by the party people might uh, uh, make it appear as if you are getting influenced by the so from that end of the spectrum we have come to the to this end where every day you are collecting certain amount of money every day you are having some uh, biryani or something to eat and every day you are uh, being uh, told that you will get a cooker or some people are given token and that token is supposed to be uh, used for uh, getting these uh, privileges this is uh, i think uh, this is a nadir we have reached can't go any worse than this actually it's extremely sad that the election commission is keeping quiet tn session would turn of course he was not buried he was burned but he was he would turn in his uh, crematorium where he was burned uh, upside down if you if he comes to know that uh, these are happening because he was one of those uh, extraordinary election commissioner who cleaned up the whole process of conducting election in terms of uh, up to what time you can speak what are the subjects you can and then selecting what are called star speakers from every party so many things you know the number of things he did and incidentally he didn't bring any new law or anything he used all the existing laws that used to be his contention there is no need for any new law in this country you just strictly implement the existing laws that itself will be more than adequate in order to deal with the many of these uh, shenanigans anyhow from that uh, we have come to today's of course today's uh, who is chief election commissioner his name itself may not be known to many people and uh, this type of uh, thing which is uh, you know it has become a common knowledge and uh, you know laughing stock and some people say it's all right sir some uh, elderly ladies get uh, this amount or some people get this if if you have a family of five and each of them get 5000 25000 is not a small sum so that's a very good uh, number sir this uh, so cynicism has reached to the uh, core in terms of accepting that uh, our votes can be sold so what it's a sham democracy actually it's a farce poll no need to have a poll even according to me 
you can uh, ask all the political leaders to come bidding process can take this that we will uh, provide uh, somebody will say 10 lakh somebody will say 20 lakh whichever is highest amount to be distributed among voters he can be uh, chosen not a cost that's all very simple why I have all this uh, paraphernalia of uh, campaigning and uh, showing to the world that we are the greatest democracy in it. and uh, some people say this is only a single election so that is a single conference MLA election so these type of things are not possible in a larger election I am not sure about that actually because once this is established that this is the process this could be continued even for a regular election uh, this becomes a norm this becomes a norm this becomes the norm. This yes. becomes the norm. And, uh, yeah. And people also begin to expect you have not given me five thousand. What should I vote for you? Type of argument will ensure. So this is the uh, thing. And the second is whether it is a single poll or a bi poll or a election for the state legislative assembly. It doesn't matter. The explicit uh, corruption indulged in by the political parties is a major issue. That should be of concern actually and I hope and pray that the election commission cancel this poll and uh, orders a re-poll uh, in a more conducive atmosphere, in a more proper fashion where money doesn't determine um, whom you are going to vote or what you are going And the election commission also should conduct extensively uh, campaign along with NGOs that uh, getting money and voting is not a appropriate thing at all that can be a public campaign actually it may not have 100 percent impact even if it has got 15 to 20 percent impact i think that should be a very great uh, opportunity to clean up the process yes sir you have something sir, to say question sir question this rk nagar remember amk won big that time yeah the yeah first, first time it was actually cancelled because it was uh, feared that a lot of money was being distributed. Then they yes. redid it. The second time, the money just went up even more, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. And the tokens were given. And there were a lot of... Uh, incidentally, I have that uh, election, if you recall, was won by this uh, TTV uh, yes. party. He had a cooker as his uh, symbol. He distributed a lot of cookers <laughs> all over the place. Anyhow, he seems to have distributed a lot of tokens with a promise of giving some amount. And that was not fulfilled. That was a major grouse of a lot of people. We have got the token. What do we do with that? Some people told, just keep the token. That's all. Nothing more you can do about <laughs> it. And that. So that is also, you know, uh, one of the uh, uh, interesting aspect. But this uh, idea of, you know, uh, bribing people. And I would also say un un unbelievable that... Uh, Public is uh, going along with this, actually. In the sense, people should be ashamed. And uh, we, you know, everywhere they trumpet, self-respect is our basis. What self-respect this is? You don't, uh, you know, claim you have any self-respect. Sway Mariyade, that's what they say in Tamil, is one of the, uh, you know, fundamental principles. What fundamental principles? <laughs> All this is bunkum, actually. Castless society, they say. Let them put one single candidate belonging to uh, SE or ST in a general category and make him win. I challenge the, all the political parties in Tamil Nadu in the coming Lok Sabha election, 39 seats are there, one at least. Let them do it and then uh, they can talk about castlessness. See, the, all these are just for uh, public consumption. Nobody take them seriously. And this uh, money power will decide the course of uh, the victory or defeat is something which is uh, pathetic actually. It, you know, you can't, uh, nowhere in the democratic world people would have thought that this could be a uh, process or even the worst, uh, you know, Latin American dictator or African dictator. At worst what happened is those who vote for him vote 99.9% 99 .9 or 95.8% and another thing. Never there has been a complaint about uh, Money. Pakistan, of course, our neighbor country, one of my colleagues uh, uh, belonging to management stream, you once told, what is this 
general election, general election you are telling. In our country, general election means generals will decide who will get elected. What is this the new idea you have got? And I told it will take a long number of years for you to understand how the public can go. So we have streamlined our election process in several dimensions in terms of the electronic voting machine, in terms of uh, paper getting uh, printed, if you have any doubt or anything. We have some millions of uh, uh, people voting last time and uh, something like, uh, I think, uh, more than uh, uh, quarter million uh, booths. And all. You will be surprised, only 250 or so had a problem in terms of the machine. And uh, that was also because basically the power and other related issues. What I want to say is we have done a lot of uh, streamlining on uh, the method of uh, voting, method of counting, method of announcing. and But we have yet to uh, do something concrete in terms of prevention of uh, uh, bribery, thievery, thuggery prior to the poll in order to uh, win the poll. And that's not a very uh, desirable type of a uh, victory. And, uh, you know, in when you sit in the assembly, each one will look at the other, how much you spent, how much you spent, that type of a, a computation. And whoever spent maximum will get the front seat or something. And uh, they might want to get the chief minister. You know, the future is extremely bleak. If you begin to think that this is going to be a norm, as uh, Sri Ayer was telling, we only hope that uh, adequate number of uh, uh, steps are taken. Normally, when there is a uh, you know, issue which goes beyond a point, we do take some uh, corrective measures. This is what happened actually in our system. We don't reform on our own. Only when the uh, crisis is beyond a point, like Arshad Mehta time or Ketan Parik time or anything, then immediately we begin to think and do some. And uh, similarly, session came at the time in which uh, the polling system was in shambles actually. In uh, Bihar and UP, large number of uh, uh, people could not even go to the polling booth to forget about uh, you know doing anything else they were told that your votes is already cast get lost and uh, but he retrieved the situation in terms of uh, fortunately for him the plus point was also this uh, electronic uh, machine and other type of uh, developments have also taken place in terms of norms declaration of assets with all the deficiency some good changes have come about I think high time all the uh, well-meaning persons in the country sit together and uh, try to put a stop to this uh, what one can call uh, bribe and win that type of a it's not a you know fair process of poll at all one can see thank you thank you very much uh, professor rv and i let's hope that you know wiser council prevails we'll wait and watch with interest what happens in erode east thank you once again sir namaskar